Hi guys! In today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the clothes that I purchased at Urban Outfitters on my last haul and how I put them together into different outfits that will work in my everyday life. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing three looks per piece just so that I can make sure that every piece flows through my closet. So if you're interested in watching this video, stay tuned. So the first thing that I purchased was a long sleeve black top. It's very similar in style to the top that I'm wearing right now, except that the sleeves come up to the shoulder area. I actually was the most excited about this piece, so I wanted to style it pretty much right away. I think my personal style is a little bit casual, but also colorful and quirky. It would be way easier to just dress very simple with jeans and a t-shirt and a jean jacket all the time. Those are the safest pieces that you can ever wear. I don't think I want to be safe with every single outfit that I put together. I kind of want to have fun. I don't think fashion should be taken that seriously. So personally, there are things that maybe I like that a lot of people would think, why is she wearing that? But it makes me happy. It makes me want to be creative in the pieces that I put together. And obviously not everybody's gonna like your style specifically, but I think it's fun to just put together things that make you comfortable and make you feel happy. So the first look that I put together with this long sleeve black top was a casual look. I honestly don't think I would necessarily pair this outfit with these shoes, but I wanted to try the shoes as well since I'm also trying to decide if I wanted to keep them or not. I don't know if it's the most exciting outfit, but I definitely would wear this to go to the movies or just to have coffee with my friend. Nothing crazy where I feel like I have to dress up that much, but I still feel put together. I'm thinking we can take a flight on the airplane, okay? We can fly away a couple hundred miles from here, maybe a couple thousand miles from here. Now the second outfit that I did with the same top was more for like a work environment. Now I don't really work for a regular type of office where we have to be very conservative or office-like. It's a more creative type of industry so I think they don't mind us wearing things that are a little bit more out there. So this top I paired it with a pair of just regular jeans and some black booties that have silver on the heel and then a trench coat. To make it a little bit more office-like, I tied my hair on the ponytail and I think the trench coat definitely adds that sense of office, a serious environment. But then of course, removing it also has to be an option. You can't really wear your coat a whole day at the office. I have to make sure that I feel comfortable enough to remove it, which I do. This top is nothing flashy, even though it has its kind of cheeky type of elements because of the neckline and also the see-through sleeves. But I think the color really helps with the modest aspect of it, so I think it's a good top to wear to work. Now the last way that I styled this top was just for my more quirky and fun type of outfit. So I paired it with a pair of pants that I thrifted years ago and I again paired it with another pair of shoes that I just got from my Urban Outfitters haul as well. I think this outfit I probably would add a jacket. I normally always have a jacket even if it's a little too hot out there. I want to have something on even if it's a light cardigan or something like that. And I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, I just have my computer where I put all the outfits that I put together just so that I can remember what I did with each. So now the shoes. The shoes for sure are a little bit on the loud side but then again this is supposed to be a fun exciting type of outfit where you make a statement so I like it. I think for sure it's an out there type of outfit where you kind of want to be noticed. So definitely if I feel like I want to achieve that type of feeling where I'm a little bit more on the spotlight I would definitely wear this outfit. Now the second item that I style is the Stan pair of sneakers. So now again, let's start with the casual outfit that I created with this. I definitely wanted to stick to the more sporty but still chic type of look, kind of like what Kylie Jenner has been doing for a while now. So for this outfit, I use a gray crop turtleneck for the top. 
and just a sporty looking type of jogger pants for the bottom and I have just a baseball cap that is in a very baby pink type of color and a light cargo type of jacket. I wanted to keep all the colors very pastel nude like because I think it goes best with the sneakers. Now I don't think this outfit is the most flattering on me. I think it could be just maybe the pants are not the best fit. So I like the color on the pants for sure. I just don't think the shape of it or the fit is the most flattering on me. I also added a pair of uh, glasses. If you saw my haul, you probably saw these glasses. I was kind of on the fence on these ones and I was thinking of returning them, but I honestly really like how the glasses made a lot of the outfits look. So I think I'm for sure gonna keep them. I'm thinking we can take a flight on the airplane. Okay, we can fly away. Now for the sneakers again, which was one of the items that I was the most excited about for my last haul, I definitely knew I wanted to pair it with a pair of jeans and a more structured type of coat. So in this next outfit, that's exactly what I did. I have a brown tan type of coat already. I have a baby pink turtleneck that I really like. I feel like whenever I wear the turtleneck, I really like the color of it and just the texture and how it feels. And then the pair of jeans is the same one that I use on my first outfit. And the sneaker kind of makes it look very casual but still chic. Now the second outfit I created for a more office type of day. Again, I really like this outfit and I added the pair of pink glasses again. Sorry, there's a helicopter flying around. So yeah, this outfit, again, I would definitely be comfortable to wear it to work, to the office. It's very chic and the colors really complement each other. Um, I like the, the sneakers add a sense of casualness to it so it doesn't make you feel too serious. Now my last outfit with these sneakers, I wanted to recreate a look that I've seen being done a lot on social media or just in magazines and stuff. I think this look started to get popular about two years ago. In this next outfit that I created for my like more casual, quirky type of days, I don't think I hit the nail with what I wanted to recreate. Again, I just used the same pink turtleneck, I added a jean jacket and I put a more structured office type of skirt all the colors are still very complementary to the color of the sneakers so nothing too harsh and more on the nude pastel type of colors i definitely understand why a lot of people wouldn't like this type of outfit it's not really very clear what the concept of it is because one piece maybe doesn't seem like it belongs with each other i don't think i really did a good job at styling this or i just don't think maybe the look works for me i think with fashion you just have to try things out see how you feel see how you look and if you don't look good in it or you don't feel comfortable in it that's fine you can just try it in a different way next time or just you know you don't have to wear it so it's really nothing serious it's just clothes you can change your mind whenever you want but yeah definitely in conclusion i don't think this was my best looking outfit from this entire bunch but you know it's not big deal <laughs> So the next item that I style is just a white pair of shoes. So I started with my work look and for this one it's a jumpsuit, it's black and it has stripes going across it from top to bottom. I actually really like this look. I don't know again if it's for everybody. I feel like this look fits my personality at work. I'm definitely kind of shy and timid but I still like to show my presence through my clothing. But for work I think I like to stay on the more modest side. I'm not supposed to be too flashy with, with the way that I wear things. So this outfit definitely represents that. So again the jumpsuit I chose it because it doesn't go all the way down so it leaves a little bit of uh, skin exposure at the bottom nothing crazy but it just helps me emphasize the shoes a little bit better and for the top it's just a long sleeve type of cashmere sweater not real cashmere but just it has the look and feel of it but yeah I really like this outfit so I would definitely wear it in real life I wanna get away away from the city in the noise girl Put a smile on their face. It's been a long time. I'm thinking we can take a flight. 
Now for my second look, I did a casual look with the white shoes again. I decided to go with something that maybe it wouldn't be considered casual as much as more quirky and not very regular type of looks that people are wearing out there so i use the same gray top that i show in a previous video it's long sleeve but it's crop and it's a gray color so i think this particular top i pair it with a lot of other outfits because it's such a basic piece i'm still using the same gray skirt that i show in a previous outfit as well um you can probably tell that i'm reusing a lot of pieces and especially pieces that are very basic in my closet that i know that i can move around very easily with many outfits then on top of that I added a rain jacket or coat. I actually wear this raincoat a lot even though it never rains in LA but I just like the fact that it's very lightweight. I like the color. It, still, it feels very rich. Now looking back at this outfit I don't think I would necessarily pair this with this pair of shoes. I probably would just pair this with a plain looking type of platform booties and I think I probably also would rethink this skirt. I wanna get away Now for my last outfit with this pair of shoes again, I did my quirky and fun type of outfit. So I definitely pick a dress that I think it's very fun to be in. It makes me think of Sundays. Like if it's a Sunday afternoon and I want to go get an ice cream or a boba or just something around here where I want to feel happy and colorful, I would probably do something like this. So the dress is very loose and it has a print. Colors are black and yellow, so I really like that because it goes with a lot of things. I pair it with a lavender bomber jacket and I don't really wear this jacket a lot. For some reason, whenever I put it on, I always change my mind, thinking that it doesn't really look good, it doesn't really pair up too well with the other things, but for some reason, I can't get rid of it. I like the color too much. I think I can make it work with other outfits. I just have to find the right outfit, so I probably should declutter it at this point because I don't really wear it that often, but you know. For this outfit though, I really like how it makes it even more fun and colorful. I definitely have my days where I just want to feel airy and young and and just you know like happy and having colorful outfits definitely makes me feel like that so I don't think the shoes in this case really makes the outfit look bad but I don't think it necessarily adds much to it either I think the main problem that I'm having with this pair of shoes is that they scratch very easily so at this point all of these items that you're seeing in my video I had not worn them out because I definitely wanted to make sure that I wanted to keep them before doing so especially with shoes if you wear them out you can really return them you already got them dirty but even though I didn't do much with these shoes they already had a scratch on the side of each one of them so I guess maybe they kind of rubbed together a little bit while I was walking and the shoes were expensive they were probably around $140 so it just didn't make sense to keep them even though it was a minor minor scratch it still didn't make sense that you're paying $140 and this white pair of shoes already has black lines going around it so definitely something that I probably wouldn't be able to upkeep it probably would get destroyed very very fast and I honestly think I can find something similar at a lower price somewhere else I don't think the shoes really help any of the outfits necessarily and for the price you know I think you know where I'm going I'm not gonna keep this pair of shoes after this again. I added the pink glasses again to this outfit I really think the pink glasses make the outfit in many ways It just puts everything together and it kind of gives you a story Now for the next item is just the leopard heels that I purchased I think I mentioned on my last video, it was kind of a very impulse type of purchase. I normally wouldn't pick something like this. Usually I don't like leopard looking clothing or shoes or bags or anything like that. So I was definitely surprised to see myself picking something like this. So my first outfit is for work. It's very colorful, you can see it just from the yellow and green skirt already. So to tone that down a little bit, I added a pair of white tights. 
and a black blazer so that kind of tones down the other two very powerful colors I know maybe some people would think who wears that that's so tacky but I I don't know I I like it I think it's fun it's creative it's colorful it's artsy and it makes me feel you know happy about it but I don't know about you guys but there are many outfits that I construct in my head and I put them on and if I just go out with my boyfriend somewhere I'm okay wearing that I feel comfortable I mean if people are looking at me in, in like a weird way I don't really care or more than that I just don't notice because I'm blind I mean I'm not blind but a lot of times I don't wear my glasses and I can't see very well when it's at a distance but I think that kind of helps me to not notice if somebody's looking at me weird I've definitely been told like in the past maybe some people look at me a little bit weird and it could be because I'm wearing kind of an outer type of outfit but I honestly don't care obviously if they make it a little too obvious like where they would be laughing and pointing at me maybe I would think about it a little bit harder and be like hmm maybe I shouldn't wear that like I don't want to be feeling all self-conscious but I don't think people do that at the most they'll just like stare at you and talk to themselves or something I'm, I'm not sure so what I'm trying to get at is that this particular outfit might be a little bit too loud for me when being on my own at the office. So I might not wear it in real life, even though I really like how it looks. So, you know, you kind of have to see that too, even though you like how you put together an outfit, are you confident enough to go out there into the world and actually wear it? Because, yeah, man, like there's a lot of things that I put together and I feel kind of cute, but then actually going out, it kind of makes me pause a little bit or maybe it doesn't make me feel too comfortable so it really depends on how you feel comfortable in now for my next outfit I did a more quirky and fun type of look and I paired this again with the crop gray turtleneck that I've shown you in many outfits by now. And I also wore a bottom that was actually a dress and I cut the top because I just felt like the top and the bottom with that color and that um, type of material was just a bit too much to wear so I thought maybe I can just wear the bottom on its own you know and it will be fine and you definitely see that it's not finished I probably have to sew it and make sure that it looks like a proper skirt and I'm not gonna be flashing anyone if I actually wear it out and I really like this outfit I don't know about you or anyone else Else, but I think it's very hipster Coachella type of vibe I mean you're probably gonna be looking at it and thinking there's no way that's Coachella or hipster but to me it gives me that vibe so I paired it with the black glasses that I also got from Urban Outfitters I think it gives it a very cool chic type of look and just to not have my hair all over the place because it's already a lot to look at I put it in a low ponytail I really like the slit on the skirt as well because it's very covered up so that kind of gives you a you know a, a very big flash of skin somewhere so I just like the balance of it So for the 10th time I'm wearing the same grey turtleneck crop top, wearing the same um, tights that I wore in a previous work outfit and the same dress that I show you that reminds me of like Sunday mornings and that sort of thing. But yeah, all together I think this outfit, it's okay. It's not the best. Something doesn't feel connected. I don't know if just maybe losing the turtleneck top would have helped. I think I wore the turtleneck top in this particular outfit because if I didn't, it would look very similar to a look that I already showed you guys. But yeah, not necessarily my favorite outfit. I think if I lost the gray turtleneck, it might look a little bit better, but I don't know. So that's it guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I'm probably gonna have to edit a lot of it because I tend to rant quite a bit when I'm talking about my thoughts and a certain feeling that I have when I when it comes to clothing so but still thank you so much for watching until this point of the video if you're interested in more videos like this feel free to subscribe and like this video I'll see you in my next video bye